Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is on triangles, and we're going to talk about the interior and exterior angles. Here are our objectives. We are going to identify sides, vertices, and angles of triangles. We will understand and use the triangle sum theorem, and we will understand the relationship between an exterior angle and two remote interior angles. The question I would like you thinking about today as I proceed through the lesson is how can you use what you know to determine if three angle measures could form a triangle? Let's begin by reviewing triangles in general. A triangle by definition is a closed polygon, meaning all sides are connected, with three sides, and here are sides, one, two, three, three angles. We're going to talk about our interior angles, one, two, three, which are formed by our sides being connected because it's a closed polygon, and then three vertices. And our vertices are what our points where our sides connect that form our interior angles. Now we're going to introduce an exterior angle, which means I've extended a side and it's formed this exterior angle. We'll learn more about that later in the video. Let's review the triangle sum theorem. I have a video that I'll post a link for you up here that you can do an interactive proof, but for now, let me just show you. The triangle sum theorem states that the three interior angles of a triangle have a sum of 180 degrees. If you so sum, add together. So real quick, let's tear off virtually our three angles. And we know that if they're going to have 180 degrees, if I put them all together, they need to form a straight line angle. So let's take A and move it down to our line. And we're going to bring B down and line up the vertice and then bring down C. And there you have a 180 degree angle is formed when I put all three together. And that proves that A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. And you can do this on paper with any size triangle and it will work. Now it's your turn. I would like you to use that theorem to find the missing measure of X. Please pause the video now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So let's first write down our theorem, which states that our three interior angles added together have a sum of 180 degrees. We're going to substitute in what we know. We have an angle X, an angle 90, and an angle that's 24 degrees. When we add all three of these together, they must be 180 degrees. To solve for X, the first thing I'm going to do is combine my like terms. 90 plus 24 is 114. To solve for x, I'm going to undo, add 114, and subtract 114 from each side. This is 0, so I have x left on the left, and 180 subtract 114 is 66 degrees, so we know that our missing angle measure here in this triangle is 66 degrees. Now it's your turn. Given the angle measures 33 degrees, 44 degrees, and 93 degrees, could you construct a triangle with these angle measures? Please pause now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So now we're going to use our triangle sum theorem, and we call this the converse. We're going to say, conversely, if the three angle measures need to equal 180 and we can find a missing one, we can also check to see if three angle measures could form a triangle. So we're going to put these three angle measures in for A, B, and C, and check to see if together they equal 180 degrees. So we're questioning this. So when we add them together, 33 plus 44 plus 93, is 170. 170 degrees does not equal 180 degrees. Therefore, these three angle measures do not have a sum of 180 and could not form a triangle. Now, let's talk about using ratios to find angle measures. We are given that this triangle, A, B, and C, the three angles form a ratio of 1 to 2 to 6. These are parts. One part to two part to six parts. I would like you to write and solve an equation to find the measure of each angle. This is a challenge question. Good luck. Go ahead and pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. 
So I gave you a hint when I said parts. So we don't know what one part is. So we're going to use our triangle sum theorem and we're going to write our parts using X because we don't know what each part is. But one part plus two parts plus six parts have a total of 180 degrees. So let's add our parts together. One plus two is three plus six is nine X. To solve for x, we're going to undo multiply by 9 and divide both sides of this equation by 9. So x is going to be equal to 20 degrees. Now we're not done because we were asked to find the measure of each angle. So we know the first one is just one part and one part is 20. And then two parts would be double that. 2 times 20 is 40. And then 6 parts, 6 times 20 is 120 degrees. And if we add these together, 20 plus 40 is 60 plus 120 is 180 degrees. Now let's talk about an exterior angle theorem. This states that any exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So here is our exterior angle and we have our three interior angles. Our remote interior angles are the ones that are non-adjacent to this exterior angle. So we can see angle C here is adjacent. It shares a side and a vertex. These are remote because they're away from the exterior angle. And here we have remote angles, interior, non-adjacent to this exterior angle. So this X this exterior angle is equal to the sum of these two angles right here, the two remote non-adjacent angles. This works for any triangle. So think about it. If A plus B plus C is 180 degrees, this is also 180 degrees. So if we take this away, this needs to be equal to both of these. So if A plus B plus C is 180. We also know that C plus X has to be 180 degrees because this is a straight angle. So therefore, X is equal to A plus B. Now it's your turn. I would like you to use that theorem to find the measure of this exterior angle. Please pause the video now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So we're going to start with our exterior angle theorem. So X is equal to the two remote interior angles, so non-adjacent. So 84 plus 63 is going to be equal to our exterior angle X. When we add those together, we get 147. So we know that our exterior angle X is 147 degrees. And there you have it. That's what I have for you today about triangles and their three interior angles and when you form an exterior angle. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.